Before the Chinese, Japanese, or even Europeans came to Taiwan, the island was, and still, home to many indigenous tribes. And their influence is shaping the next wave of Taiwanese cuisine. I heard about a restaurant in Danzui, in the north of Taipei. This is indigenous bamboo, bamboo tube rice. Uh -huh. And this is what? This is um, traditionally it should be made. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is beetle nut flour. The, uh, the sort of indigenous part element uh -huh. in this dish is this beetle nut uh -huh. shoes, you know, flower shoes. Okay. Zhang Keqing is a Cantonese cuisine chef by trade. Now he's trying to fuse indigenous flavors and ingredients with what he knows best, creating a modern take on traditional tribal food. Uh Chinese 我做这一行已经二十五年了就忽然有一次就是去台东花莲旅游台湾最原始住在这边的居民he wants to introduce the other side of the Taiwan cuisine that maybe the world don't know. I mean, maybe even Taiwanese don't know. Taiwan people, you know, you So, yeah. Yeah, the, even for Taiwanese, when he opened a restaurant, indigenous cuisine doesn't mean anything. So he's almost like, because Taiwanese food is having a moment in the world, but he is adding another wave to it. Diversity, multicultural diversity. He's like, hey, look here. We, we also have this, hey. This is Taiwanese food, but with an indigenous approach or twist. I would just say twist. Twist. I would just say twist. Not really not, an approach. Not approach. Because in the old day, they would just boil, boil a potato, barbecue a chicken. They wouldn't go and start stir fry a rice, would they? Do you think this is an evolution of indigenous cooking? Yes, but it has to be, otherwise nobody will come to eat. Sunday 